What's up guys? About to hit some snatches right now. Get a quick little workout and I kind of wanted to show you guys a few little pieces that I bought online that are very accessible right now to everyone depending on whether they're in stock or not. But for the most part, you guys can get them yourself. I'm gonna be showing you guys a few things that you guys can get off of Amazon for your home gym. Home gym equipment basically that you can buy off of Amazon. These things have freaking been awesome for me. I use them pretty much every workout and they're super affordable guys and they're great pieces to have. So if you guys like any of these, the links are going to be in the description below. But let's go ahead and get into this workout. It's currently like 6.30 p.m. I've just been editing a YouTube video that just went up. It's full day of eating and training for CrossFit. Go check it out guys. If you guys don't want to miss that one, good video. Good workouts in there. A few meals. Hopefully it gives you some meal inspiration. But yeah, going to go ahead and work out now. And uh, yeah, show you guys these little pieces of equipment that you guys can get. Let's get this work, man. Come on, Breakfast Club, we in this. All right, guys, so one of the first things I had bought for this home gym setup entirely was these bad boys right here. These are resistance bands. More importantly, this one was my favorite, but these are all just like bands for other stuff. You can use them to stretch for leg workouts, ladies, booty workouts. But this band right here has just been amazing. I think it's like maybe 10 to $15, depending on whatever one you look at, depending on the price right now. But this is an amazing band. It's super heavy duty. It's stretchy enough so you can stretch out at the beginning of your workouts. It's also strong enough to support you in assisted banded pull-ups. But I absolutely love this thing, man, from workouts to warming up to mobility post-workout just recovery all that sort of thing this has been amazing i highly recommend you guys get one of these right off the bat because they're cheap they're affordable and they're absolutely crucial for recovery for during your workout it's just another super versatile piece that's super clutch and super handy it comes in at a very reasonable price point on amazon.com man also this is probably a workout piece in itself because I can get arm workouts in with this. I can get tricep extensions, uh, banded pull-ups. There's so many different things with this thing alone. And not to mention that, but it also doubles as that recovery piece. So this is just super crucial to have, especially for your warm-ups, for workouts and recovery. Especially if you don't have that much equipment right now, this is a good piece to buy right off the bat because it's gonna help you start getting things going. It's gonna help you get in that workout routine. But that's gonna be the first thing I would buy and it's super cheap on Amazon right now, guys. Go get it. If you're a Prime member, you'll get it even quicker. So you'll start recovering, you'll start working out with it, and you'll start mobilizing with this thing too. Super awesome, love it, man. Go pick it up. The next thing I would say for you guys to get right off the bat from Amazon that you can get for like ten dollars is gonna be collars. Collars are amazing, guys. I'm no crazy big weightlifter, but what I am trying to do is be smart and be safe and really dial in a technique. Snatches, squat snatches, all that stuff is new to me. I'm barely like a few months into doing them. And I honestly stopped for like the last four or five months since my CrossFit gym closed down. I just restarted doing them. I think the most I've ever done is like 185 on a overhead squat, I believe. The most I've done on snatch balance is 185, guys. So literally like I'm dialing in all my technique. I'm going super light. So this calls for lightweight. And in order for me to do lightweight and really not have the the weights kind of mess me up is for collars these collars were like 10 to 15 dollars on amazon guys super crucial especially if you guys have a barbell awesome awesome investment i know i'm the guy that doesn't really normally use collars but for stuff like this they come in handy especially if you have other family members that are going to be lifting with you in your garage that aren't really experienced honestly just collars are always just a safe thing for anyone to use you don't want weight randomly slipping or falling off and then kind of messing up someone's lift which can then in turn mess them up and really injure them and that's not what we want guys we want to make gains for the long term so collars man they're like 10 15 bucks super sturdy high quality and keep the weight on there guys i highly recommend i know you guys might be iffy because they're coming from amazon but i can say that these are good quality products so go ahead and cop yourself some collars <laughs> And that guys, that right there is why you need collars. That's three tens on there. 
Colors have saved me. Hey, also, this is like the most I've ever snatched this for that many times, I think. It's done like three sets of like four or five with, uh, I think it's like 105. But still, again, I'm trying to move nice, move well, really, really well, get that form in, get that mind muscle connection, get everything dialed in, like know when I'm supposed to pop, what it's supposed to feel like on a good one. But yeah, I'm bringing you guys along. So if you guys are new, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, because this is going to be a journey, man. We're starting August right now, August 24th, and we'll see where we get to the end of the year on snatches, man. So hopefully we're hitting some PBs by the end of the year. Yeah, we'll set a goal for ourselves, maybe at least 155. We're shooting for 155 by the end of the year. Uh, just really well, nice form. But yeah, man, callers, crucial. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, another little thing, it's not really equipment, but it's more of just gear, some lifters, and some regular training shoes guys. These are the Reebok Nano 8s, more probably one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Absolutely love it. Love it just to wear, just at leisure, round in, and then training. It's amazing. It also does good with running. Not running far distances, but it does do good on running watts. And then these are the Reebok Legacy Lifters. These are amazing lifter shoes. Super comfortable as well. Super sturdy and really, really do help on the back squats, front squats, Olympic lifts, like the snatches right now, cleans, all that stuff. They're amazing. But oh my gosh, these shoes feel amazing right now. They're literally the most comfortable shoe. Anyway, a little side note. You guys can get that off Amazon as well. They do have a bunch of sizes in stock. So if you guys are in the market for some shoes, training shoes, good ones, comfortable ones, and swaggy ones, hit the link in the description. All right, guys, so another piece that was bought pretty early on after I bought the squat rack was these gymnastics rings. These are amazing, guys. I personally want gymnastics rings over TRX bands because they're more of what I was looking for for the style of training I was doing. And honestly, I kind of weighed out the pros and the cons. And I can do a lot of the TRX stuff right on these rings here. And honestly, for functional fitness, they're just a lot better. So first off the bat, I can do ring dips. Awesome for the chest, awesome for the shoulders and core. I can do a bunch of ab exercises like leg raises, like leg crunches like little parallel parallel whatever they're called holds you can do l holds whatever you can do a lot of back exercises like the uh, rows you can do push-ups you can practice ring muscle ups like the little get ups um they're just super versatile and awesome you can do so many ab exercises too like crunches bringing them in if you set these really low to the ground you can bring them into your leg like a leg crunch super awesome piece of equipment man you can do so much with these you can do like butterfly rows just so many different variations for back exercises these are only like 40 dollars and they're super crucial it's literally a no-brainer i knew right off the bat when i saw the price that i had to get them no matter what even if i didn't use them and i honestly use these quite a bit so i use these a lot to stretch out like right whenever i get into the gym oh this is awesome for stretching out your back shoulders also just for like back movements these are awesome to do variations of pull-ups if you can't get pull-ups yet these are going to be awesome an awesome starting point for you guys but for 40 dollars you get literally two straps they're adjustable they come with a little velcro strap here to hold the excess they're really big and honestly they're big enough to put on a big rig so you guys can do like ring muscle ups and then they come with the two rings they're not tricky at all to install literally just youtube how to install gymnastics ring and boom you're good to go i did have a little bit of trouble i would but literally for 40 dollars, you can't beat this super high quality they don't feel flimsy at all not once have i felt scared that these were gonna break or tear on me super awesome buy especially if you guys have a rack in your garage buy them or you can honestly hang them up from the roof just set some like studs down or maybe like a bar if you guys have a pull-up bar or something just literally hang them from there these are literally strung up from the pull-up bar here and they're super sturdy super strong they're gonna keep you safe guys and you guys can make so many gains with these so go ahead and check those out all right guys so the next thing that's gonna be a no-brainer for you guys to get off Amazon is gonna be this t-bar row landmine kit duo attachment thing literally one of the best things that I've bought whenever I go to any gym I always love using a landmine attachment I even do my own variation just sticking the bar into a corner but basically what this is is this is the landmine attachment super cheap and affordable I believe the whole kit together with the landmine and the t-bar row attachment was like $60 no-brainer this is really high quality guys obviously you guys can get different versions different variations are more expensive quality is different but for the price and the quality it's amazing man I not once it felt like I was gonna break this 
this, like I was in danger or anything, or this thing was gonna break on me and I was gonna get hurt. Literally super high quality, it gets the job done. A pretty big, thick piece of steel right here on the bottom, and it has this bracket right here, which allows you to stick it under a rack. So if you literally lift the rack up, do you see how perfect this piece would slide in? Slide in perfectly, boom, and you're good to go. You're gonna be safe. Basically, this thing goes around 360 degrees, boom, the barbell goes into here, this top piece right here, boom, and then from there you're good to go. So let's say you wanna do some, some T-bar rows, literally just the bar's gonna be chilling, it goes up and down, flexes. You can do so much with this attachment, guys, especially with this thing too. You can do so much stuff for back. You can do single-handed rows, T-bar rows. You can do goblet squats. You can do shoulders, chest, which I love it for. So many things, so many different variations. It's absolutely amazing, guys. And for the price, you really can't beat it. It's such a versatile piece. And honestly, I think every home garage gym should have one of these because you can do so much with this. It's such a like special and like rare piece to find almost. But luckily, your boys over at Amazon got you hooked up, guys. And I have the link in the description if you guys want to pick one up so go ahead and check it out guys super high quality amazing affordable price and it's gonna deck out your home gym it's gonna allow you to do so much stuff Guys, the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is something that you guys are gonna probably be super familiar with. Again, it's almost like gear, but comes in handy, especially if you guys are gonna be lifting heavy, if you guys got a barbell, some dumbbells, whatever that is, and that is these lifting straps by Harbinger. I'm pretty sure you can get these on almost any gym that just has like a little snack bar or a little concession stand. They're about eight to ten dollars, but Amazon has them. They're, they'll come to your door super quick. So if I were you guys, I'd order a pair just in case because there's sometimes that we want to lift and we really don't want grip to be an issue, especially on bigger lifts where really if we can't really grip, we can't lift it, but we know we're strong enough. So this will help you with your strength. Again, the thing that you guys are probably going to use them the most for are deadlifts, which is definitely something great to use them on because it's going to save your hands, it's going to save your grip, and you're going to be able to lift a lot more weight safely, effectively and you're gonna be recruiting a lot more muscle fibers using these but i highly recommend you guys get a pair of these bad boys the hard banger straps these are amazing i absolutely love them come in handy all the time especially when i was doing crossfit doing crossfit i feel like a lot of people don't normally wear grips they might be frowned upon or this and that but honestly there'd be days where i would use them a lot but honestly guys that is an amazing piece of equipment especially for your garage gym because you never know when someone's trying to go heavy and they can't really grip or you guys might not have chalk this is a great alternative to that it's going to save you guys a lot of time energy and mess without having to use the chalk but that's another great piece of equipment that amazon has super cheap and affordable and just something to spice up your guys workouts in your garage all right guys that's gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed these are some of the basic gym essentials that you guys can get off amazon right now guys links to all these things are in the description they're the exact thing that i have here battle tested by me don't worry i did all the dirty work for you it's not gonna break on you or be flimsy or just low quality the stuff that's actually gonna help you with this home gym setup and everything so go ahead and click that link in the description for those things yeah guys i hope you guys found this helpful i hope this gives you a little bit more insight into some little extra things that make a big difference in your garage gym in order to make those gains to have more variety and just have fun in there make gains stay in shape because we all want to look good feel good and perform good right so that's going to do it for this video guys if you guys haven't already hit that like button hit that subscribe button at least two new videos every week guys you guys don't want to miss it go over to instagram follow me there shots underscore g comment breakfast club and let me know you guys came from here as always breakfast club ctg we have this beat.